feel like I'm channeling Sana from Twice. If any of you know what that is, then you understand. Like from the like ooh ah. Na, 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 na. <laughs> uh, if you don't know, I just did a K-pop reference, so psh, my life is complete. A falling star fell from your heart and landed in my arms. Okay. Dang it, I need that. Okay. Hello everyone, it is time for a new video, and this time it is one of my favorites. Whew. Apparently I'm doing a cinema thing today. Oh, I mean, yeah, off topic, but today I'm doing my May favorites. Um, if you watched my last video, I did a May wrap up. I just filmed all a bunch of stuff that I did in May, and then I put it in a video with music, and it's pretty cute. And I just think it's fun because I can look back on it and be like, oh, memory all alone in the moonlight. Wow, that was really bad. We're just going to roll with that. Okay. Oh, apparently today is going to be super duper weird. Okay. So, my main favorites. I'm going to start with clothes. We're actually going to start with this t-shirt. So, it's a Harry Potter t-shirt that I got at Hot Topic and it says... The Wand Chooses the Wizard. I do love the books. I haven't read all of them yet. I'm working on it. That is another story that I will actually probably make a video about. I mean, that would be fun. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. I love JK Rowling's writing. It reminds me of a lot of my writing. And so I love reading her writing and her creativity is really cool. And I just, I just love when authors create new worlds that are like completely different. Like J.R.R. Tolkien is my hero. <sighs> he is so cool. He writ wrote like an entirely new wor world and an entirely new language. And that's just like so epic in my book. Pun intended. <laughs> That was not even planned. Yes. Yes. The pun. So, as you can see, it's a Harry Potter shirt. If you can see that, I'm just gonna like do a slow like up and down. I don't know. Yeah, it has a bunch of wands on it. And I got it for really cheap at Hot Topic because it was on clearance. I think it was get two t-shirts for $10. And I was like, <laughs> yes, I am down for that. We're gonna move on because it's already going to be really, really long. <laughs> These I technically got in May, even though it was like the second to last day of May. It counts. But they are these. With little pom-poms. And I love them. For some reason, it just makes me feel like Minnie Mouse. And they're like really velvety. And they're tie up. And I just love them so much. My sister was awesome because I had two pairs of shoes that I wanted to buy. And I was like, I need to choose one. And she goes, she picks up the boots that I had and she was like, how do you feel about these? And I was like, eh. And then she was like, how do you feel about these? And I was like, eh. And she was like, then you're getting these. So, love you, Molly. You helped me pick out shoes. Yep. That's just what I love about my siblings and my family is that, like, they just know me and know what to say to, like, push me to make decisions. Because if you don't know me, I am terrible at making decisions. Like, awful. The other thing that I got was also where I got those shoes. Wow, I didn't explain where I got those shoes, did I? Okay, so I got these at Rue 21. Um, Rue 21 is a store that pretty much is closing all of their locations now. And it's really sad because that's where like I got all my clothes because they had a really great clearance section. And so I always look through their clearance section with my mom. But... Two of the Rue 21s near my house have already closed down and like have closed down and just are gone. And so me and my mom were like, okay, well let's go to the one a little farther from my house that's not closed. And we go there and they're closing. So they're having this big blowout sale, which is awesome because blowout sale, but that one is closing also. So there are like no Rue 21s anymore. And it's making me really sad, but I bought a bunch of clothes. So it wasn't even clothes. 
I bought like a bunch of sunglasses. I bought like a lot of chokers. I bought shoes. I bought like one top. <laughs> Just bought a bunch of other stuff. Yeah. So along with that, I got this choker. So if you can see, it's like this moon choker. And I really love this choker. I think it's so cute. And I'm just gonna put it on for right now. Even if it looks bad, it's just happening. Yeah, so I really love this choker and I got it for pretty dang cheap. I got it for like, I got it in a pack of three, but I got it for, I think like $2 for like a pack of three which is amazing so thank you rue 21 for closing but also i hate you because you're closing <sighs> okay close we're done Whew. we are going to move on to entertainment because it's not just me that's entertaining <laughs> so me and my sister finished well i i finished with my sister she already finished it i had it we finished one punch man the anime if you haven't seen One Punch Man, bro, <laughs> it is so fantastic. It is just all I want in an anime and you just fall in love with Sayatama and you fall in love with Genos and you just fall in love with all the villains and all the heroes and you hate some of the heroes and you love some of the villains and it's so contradictory and I just love it. I love it. Yeah. Good anime. Good time. Highly recommend it. Last two. Oh my gosh, this video is so long. Um, so I finally saw Moana, and holy crap, it was amazing. I can't not tell you how much I love how far I'll go. She is an amazing singer, and she does the song so well, and it's so beautiful. And I will sing it in my car any day. <sighs> the girl power in it, and beauty in it, and freaking animation in it is just. So good. Hello, Seventeen. If you do not know what Seventeen is, it's a K-pop band. <clears throat> Hello, Seventeen. I know, I know your music video. It's called Don't Wanna Cry. But I freaking cried! <laughs> ah! If you are a Seventeen fan, watch Seventeen's new video. You probably already have if you're as big of a fan as I am. Like, I waited a little bit because I was like, oh, maybe I can do a reaction video. No, I couldn't wait anymore. Like, I just watched it and I just keeled over from how amazing it is. <laughs> Seventeen is so good. So good. So good. So good. Yeah. I know that they filmed it in America, but most of the song is Korean which is really cool because not a lot of k-pop bands are more transferring like half their lyrics into english and so it was really cool to just listen to a song in korean even though i do not know korean i thought that was more i thought it was cool that they decided to go with the language just one language the entire song you don't really see that in k-pop anymore and i thought it was really cool uh so yeah it was beautiful, I died, I die every time I listen to it, and so, yeah. I'm trying a new thing where I just talk about things that I like in my life right now, and then I'm going to do my goals for the month of June, so that I can look back on it and be like, you said that you were going to do this, so I'm probably going to hold myself to it a lot more. So, probably going to start doing this now. Um, so things that I just like in my life right now are my plants. So I have a lot of plants in my room because I'm a fairy and I just need nature to live. So uh, I bought a bunch of plants and then I have a bunch of plants already. So yeah, my plants are my babies and I love them so much. And I just, I'm so happy that it's spring and there are just flowers and bloom and oh, I just am so happy about that. And then my other life favorite is my room. This is not my room. This is a different room in my house that I made into my filming room. But my other room is actually super cute. It's completely yellow, which is my favorite color, and it just makes me really happy. And because I came home, I got to reorganize my room, and I have so many knickknacks and so many things that bring back so many memories. And so when I go into my room, I just, I feel really happy. Goals for June. Enjoy the small moments. Um, that is something that I've been trying to do lately, just 
looking at those tiny moments or the little things in my life that just make me really happy and that's what I could dwell on instead of dwelling on other things in my brain like my anxiety or that my anxiety is just like pushing into my brain I can focus on the small things that make me happy instead of um, the small things that cause my brain to just die the last goal that I set for myself is to start learning Korean so if you know me I'm really into K-pop and that's not the only reason I want to learn Korean, but it's a big part. I tried to learn Italian and that was really hard and I don't really like French or Spanish. Um, so I thought Japanese or Korean could be really fun. So I want to start learning Korean, so I'm going to do it. That's one of my goals this month. So the final thing that I want to do is to just put in one of my favorite quotes of the month. I really love quotes and I really love just how words can transfer into your brain and make you feel a certain feeling or emulate something that's really important to you. And so I want to start doing a quote every, every favorites of the month. So this is my favorite quote from May. Love is like a flower and like the body it needs constant feeding. The mortal body would soon die if there were if there was not constant feeding the tender flower would wither and die without food and water and so love also cannot be expected to last forever unless it is constantly fed with portions of love the manifestation of esteem and admiration the expressions of gratitude and the con consideration of unselfishness i love just how it's saying that marriage isn't easy and it needs constant feeding of unselfishness just showing the person that you appreciate them as much as they appreciate you so that is my May favorites because holy crap this video is weird and it took forever I seriously was not meaning it for it to be this long but every time I come in front of the camera it's just like bleh word vomit so I hope you enjoy next month um, well this month technically it's June it's summer and the sun is shining, it's really freaking hot. Yay, June! That is all I have for you. Make sure that you subscribe to my channel if you're not already subscribed already. Yay. And uh, we'll see you later. Bye.